Love you all. Welcome all you lovers to the Florida Love Show. This is your love hour right before happy hour, sponsored by Florida Love. Join us each week as we spread love in the Florida community and transform the world with love. Now, back to spreading love. This is for you, Kenny. It's the Florida Love Show. Paying the forward is the theme. It's the Florida Love Show, hosted by Kenny and his dream. Every special guest brings their love to the set. And the interview flies, it all comes alive, like a duet. Love you, Sha. Thank you for all the love, Sha. Sha's the Florida Love Show singer. She sings the Florida Love Show theme song. So I want to thank all you lovers for watching the Florida Love Show today. My name is Kenny Love. I'm the founder and creator and the host of the Florida Love Show. Florida Love is a nonprofit, 501c3, but love is free. Everything in Florida Love is free. Okay? Very important because love must be free to give just because with no expectations of anything in return. So I love you all. Please comment. Please let me know you're watching. Please send the love. Please spread the love. Please comment. I want tons of love today. I want to wish everybody the happiest, lovingest, most loving, <laughs> lovingest Cinco de Mayo today. I also want to wish all the moms out there a happy Mother's Day. I know it's next Sunday, the 14th. However, you can start loving your mom now. 
Now, 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 because life is short. We only have now to love each other, okay? I could pass right now on this show. So go out and tell your mom you love her today. Go out and say, I love you, love you, love you, mom. Love you, love you, love you. So like this, okay? So here's my mom, my beautiful mom. Okay, she's going to, I'm not going to say her age because she'll go crazy. She's 21, okay? I love you, love you, love you, mom. You are the most special, beautiful, stunning, amazing, incredible mom. You gave me life, and I owe you my life for that. I love you, mom. Love you, love you, love you. So that's my beautiful mom. That's where I get all my love from, from my mom and my dad. That's the way it works. So go love your mom today. Love, 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 love. So I was in Publix today, and I always get my roses at Publix every day, and I say I love you. So I'll hand out roses and say I love you, okay? That's called Roses for Change. Okay, what happened was after George Floyd passed and I saw what the officer did to him by putting his knee on his neck, I cried and cried and cried. And I said, I got to do something about this. So I spoke to my idol, who I love more than anything in the whole world, Martin Luther King. And I said, what do I do? Because I got to do something. I got to make a difference here. He said, hand out roses to every African-American and say, I love you. So. I turned around, I had six dozen roses coming to my show, went back into Publix, back into Whole Foods, and I handed every African American a rose and said, I love you. And they said, I love you back. And they were crying and, you know, it was the most moving, moving day. So the newspaper co papers covered it, the Sun Sentinel, Boca del Rey News, and then the TV news covered it. So I'm going to play you the first TV news so you can get what Ro Roses for Change is all about. Please play the first news. Welcome back. Now at 530, who couldn't use a little love right now? <laughs> One Pompano Beach businessman is making it his mission to spread love all around by giving out the flower of love uh -huh. to random strangers. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo has this heartwarming story. There's an old song with lyrics that say what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Ken Learman is living that moment in a movement he created called Roses for Change. We love you. The idea for Roses for Change came about after the death of George Floyd and the turmoil that followed. I felt their pain. And for me, I don't see color. I mean, I see us all as human beings and we all can love each other. I mean, love is simple. Ken, who owns his own printing business for 35 years, appropriately named The Happy Printer, decided to spring into action, purchasing dozens of roses he could hand out. The first thing I did was I went to Whole Foods and I also went to Publix and I gave out roses to all the African-Americans in the store. And I said, I love you. And they said, they said, I love you back. And they said, God bless you. And they said, we need love more now than ever before. Ken was so moved by the response, he posted pictures on Facebook, receiving 600 likes. Suddenly, Roses for Change on Facebook was born. His followers wanted to join him, buying roses too, and it's now become a movement, spreading love to people of all races. We recently caught up with them in Boca Raton. I just want to say I love you. Have a Thank wonderful God. day. Michelle Bellman, who had never met Ken in person, wanted in on the love train and came out on this day to volunteer. His message is just of love and love yourself and love one another and he speaks to my soul and he speaks to me because I love to spread love as well. Some were skeptical wondering if there's a catch to these random acts of kindness but for those who understood it it meant the world. I think it's just amazing. This is really really nice. You're really showing your love. You're taking your time to do this. Just amazing and the red flowers forget it. Just bringing brightness to this world. It's much needed. Thank you so much. Seriously, so sweet. Can you imagine what a world it would be like if we just all gave roses to each other instead of what's actually going on? Like, to me, that's a way to spread a message. Spread the message of love. Lucky me, I received my rose. For more information on Roses for Change when they meet every Friday, go on to our website at cbsmiami.com. I'm Lisa Petrillo, smelling sweet, CBS 4 News. Love you, Lisa Petrillo. Mwah. So that's the reporter there, and I loved how she said, smelling sweet. Yes, the sweet smell of love of a rose. 
So there we were giving out roses in Boca Raton in front of Bed Bath & Beyond and saying, I love you. So I want to read you this, okay, because Martin Luther King had a dream, and I have the same dream, okay? So he said, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed, that all men are created equal. All men and women are created equal. All human beings are created equal. Equal, 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 equal. So that's my dream, that we all love each other and that we're all equal, that we love each other as human beings because we're all the same. We all have blood. And again, I could pass right now on the show. So we only have now, only have now to say I love you before you pass, before someone else passes. So go out and say I love you, and especially to your mom because Mother's Day is coming up. But I love you to everybody. Love you, love you, love you. So... I love you, Martin Luther King. So the second news, I'm handing out roses to teenagers in the Milagro Center. And the teenagers were hanging out when I got there, and at the end were dancing, and the news covered it. So please play the second news. We're continuing to bring you inspiring stories from our area about people changing their communities for the better. Tonight, WPTV News Channel 5's Chris Gilmore shares the story of a man on a mission to spread love one rose at a time. Mm. Roses are red and Ken Lerman's suit is too. Love you, Anthony. If you see his bouquets, he has a message love for you. Man. Love you, brother. The 55-year-old loves love. I love you. And he now uses roses to let people know it. No, I love you. There's some pain behind Lerman's purpose. His Roses for Change campaign began this summer after he and people across the country witnessed the fallout following the death of George Floyd while in police custody. How can one human being do that to another human being like I, w I was crying when I saw it. Armed with roses and a message of love, Lerman says he wanted to reach those most affected. I got to give this to all the African Americans. They're hurting. His message has since caught on both online and in Palm Beach County, where he regularly shares love and roses to people of all colors. We caught up with Lerman with a hundred of his favorite flowers in hand at the Milagro Center in Delray Beach. A lot of learning goes on every day here in the Milagro Center, but today's lesson consisted of some flowers and three words going a long way. I love you. I was surprised and I was like, oh, I love you too. A lot of these teens say it's been a while since they've heard those words directed at them and even longer since they've been given flowers. I was, it was kind of weird at first. I was like, roses giving someone food. I was, it was kind of weird because I didn't expect that, but it's pretty nice. It's a really nice gesture. He said, I love you. You stay safe. And he told my grandma happy birthday too. Lerman says he hopes the connection he makes with strangers leaves a lasting impact. That's my mission every single day to spread love in the Florida community and transform the world with love. <laughs> because maybe all you need is love. In Delray Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5. And you can help us share stories that are inspiring South Florida. Just send us your ideas to inspiringsfl at WPTV.com or you can head to our website to make us a submission. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some applause, please. Applause, applause. Yes. So that was Chris Gilmore, the second reporter. So he said maybe all you need is love. At Florida Love, we say all you need is love. Love is everything. And again, we're all human beings, so we're not perfect. And I, every day, every second, because I know I could pass and I only have now, I say I love you to everybody. And sometimes I don't because I'm a human being, but it's, it's like to work on saying I love you, to forgive and say I love you to another human being. So that's what I do. I say I love you, love you, love you, love you. So I want to talk about something. So human beings ever since forever and ever and ever would rather hate than say I love you. They'd rather hate than say I love you, you know? So one of the things I find is I'll send out to other human beings 
and I'll and they'll send back to me like thumbs up emojis okay after I say I love you or they'll say like ditto or right back at you so what I find is I always look at people's eyes when I say I love you I find lovers true lovers say I love you you say I love you they say I love you back now what's amazing is African Americans say love you more uh, it's the most beautiful thing in the whole world I mean I, I like cry when they say love you more that's the most beautiful thing so I love you all each and every one of you and again I'm a human being I'm not perfect we're all not perfect so go out and love everyone while you're here and I'm gonna give you an example which really hit home for me so I was on the Florida Turnpike on December 6th in the evening 10 o'clock just driving my car and a monster truck hit me from behind at 100 miles an hour and I got thrown it was like a bomb hitting me and I could have passed it drove home how short life is you only have now to love each other you only have now to love each other so go out and say I love you love you love you love you so I want to give you an example so I was coming out of Publix this week and I said I love you to Anita and John yes Peter love you brother love you brother yes love makes everything better love makes everything better matter of fact this is one of my favorite sayings thanks Peter for reminding me one simple I love you can change everything for the better so why is it so hard for human beings to say I love you why is that so hard because they're afraid of getting hurt because who knows I honestly I, you know I'm like love is freedom love is happiness it's pure freedom pure happiness pure joy it's everything so like to me saying I love you is the best thing in the whole world and it can change everything for the better so I came out of Publix and I ran into Anita and John so John says to me can you give me money I'm homeless and I said to John love is free so I'll say I'll tell you what I can give you I can give you a diet sun kissed and I also have jewelry for your girlfriend Anita I have heart earrings because she has such a huge heart they had the most beautiful hearts and the most beautiful smiles and I just said love you love you love you and I said John you're not homeless you're just a human being you're doing what you're doing and you're being what you're being and I don't label so I don't use words like homeless addict drug addict whatever you know disability whatever because that separates labeling separates I don't see color color separates us love brings us together so we have a group at Florida love that love will keep us together and I'm sure lots of you know that song from Captain and Tennille love keeps us together and when you say I love you and say you know just love you love you love you love you love you keeps us together so they weren't smiling like this until the, until we sh we shared love that's what it does look at this it's amazing so John love and Anita love so I gave John two diet sun kissed cans of soda and I gave Anita these beautiful hard earrings she looked gorgeous oh my god and we gave the biggest hugs they gave the most amazing hugs oh true love I love you true love I'm so happy you're watching the show I love you love you love you so true love is amazing he's my graphic designer he designs all these incredible poses look at this look how he's the most creative um, incredible special graphic designer I love him love him love him because he designs from his heart and soul of love look at this look at the hearts in the background he created that I mean it's amazing every week he creates the poster and I've done over 150 shows in three years we're on, on our fourth year now spreading love all over the world well true love spreads love by creating these posters I love you so much true love I'm so happy you're watching today you made my day my year my life today I love you true love love you love you love you yeah
Love you, brother. Love you, love you. And Peter, love you, love you. Please keep the comments coming. Please keep the comments coming. If you're watching, please keep the comments coming. Let's talk about love. Let's share about love. Let's spread love all over the world. So I love you, love you, love you. So uh, John said to me, you know something? You're right. I'm not homeless. I'm just a human being. I said, yeah, you're a human being. I'm a human being. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Anita's not perfect. We're just human beings, and we're being what we're being, and we're doing what we're doing. That's it. So I don't label. I don't label. Because labeling creates judgment, stereotyping, et cetera, et cetera, gossip. So love is no gossip. It's no judgment. It's no stereotyping. It's no criticism. It's no anger. It's no resentment. It's no violence. It's no killing. Look, I mean, you know, I was watching yesterday, and I said to my friend, I said, you know, can the world get crazier than this, literally, with hate? Like, I don't hear I love you on the news. Democrats hate Republicans. Republicans hate Democrats. They argue. They can't come up with a, for, for our debt limit, just raise it. This, you know, they both have their human being perspectives. Okay, fine. You, to love each other as human beings doesn't mean you have to like each other, doesn't mean you have to agree. But you could say I love you as a human being just because they were a human being because we're all the same. We all have blood. Then I was like looking at Ukraine. Hundreds of thousands of people are being killed. Then I was looking at mass shootings. How many mass shootings did we have this week? Not just mass shootings. Stabbings. Choking on the New York subway. I mean... I'm saying to myself, let's spread the love and say I love you while we're here. Let's love each other while we're here as human beings. So I love you, each and every, each and every single one of you. I love you. Love you, love you, love you from the bottom of my heart. So we can spread love all over this world just by loving one person today. Just by loving one person today. So that's why I wear this. I am love, but on the back it says, you are love. Because you are love. You're all love. So I only look at people's eyes and I see their hearts and souls of love. So I want to wish everybody a happy, happy Cinco de Mayo. A lot of people think it's just dancing and, and tequila and partying and all that stuff. And it is. And when I ask someone what's Cinco de Mayo, they're like May 5th. I'm like, well, there's a history behind it. So I'm going to play some videos about Cinco de Mayo so you can learn. Oh, my God. Patricia, I love you, love you, love you, love you. Patricia, love. Oh, I love you, Mom. Oh, my God. Love you, love you, love you, Patricia, love. You are so special. Bottom of my heart. Love you, love you, love you. Roses for you to a beautiful woman. Roses for you. Love you, love you, love you. So I'm going to play you a video about the history of Cinco de Mayo so you can find out what it's really about while you're downing the tequila or eating the guacamole or, or whatever you're going to do tonight for Cinco de Mayo. So please play the first video. Cinco de Mayo on 5th of May is a commemoration of the victory of an outnumbered army of Mexicans over the French forces at the Battle of Puebla that took place May 5th, 1862. The triumph of the Mexicans proved to the world that their will to defend their nation's sovereignty will prevail against a powerful foreign invader. It is often mistaken as Mexico's Independence Day, which, on the other hand, is celebrated every 16th of September. Though Cinco de Mayo has become a relatively minor event in Mexico today, the United States of America significantly celebrates it by highlighting the Mexican-American culture. Its significance to world history is more than about having a day dedicated to feasting on Mexican food, getting margarita happy, and wearing loud sombreros. So, to give you a better understanding of what Cinco de Mayo is all about, let's take you back to where and how it all began. The American Civil War, experienced by the Latinos. The early 1860s became witness. To the time, Mexico had become greatly indebted to France, Britain, and Spain as a result of the Mexican-American War and Reform War. 
Mexican President Benito Juárez suspended the payment of Mexico's foreign debts for two years, and only France turned down the notion of a negotiation. Napoleon III, then ruler of France, saw this as an opportunity to build the second Mexican empire in Mexico, with France reaping the benefits. During the later part of 1861, France's fleet attacked Veracruz and halted Juárez and his government. In May 1862, the French force led by General Charles de Lorenz attacked Mexico City, but were resisted by General Ignacio Zaragoza's strong-willed Mexican troops near Puebla de Los Angeles. 2,000 poorly equipped Mexican fighters stood against the 6,000 well-armed French men, known as the world's premier army. Nearly 500 French soldiers and fewer than 100 Mexicans had been killed in the battle that went on from dawn till dusk. Sensing the obvious defeat, the French forced retreat. Mexico's determination, unity and patriotism won over France's brutal force. A much-needed morale boost not only to the Mexican army but to Mexico as a nation. There's so much to tell about what took place in Puebla, but what needs to be remembered has probably been forgotten by most of those who should be passing the story on. Mexico may have lost battles after that great victory, but Cinco de Mayo will always be a reminder to everyone that a grain of hope, no matter how small and insignificant to others, can make the impossible possible. Now that you know what you need to know, enjoy the Mexican feast. Down that shot of tequila and wear that Mexican sombrero loud and proud because it is a happy Cinco de Mayo. Woo, I'm dancing with them. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. So it's not Mexico's Independence Day. That's in September. It's about the Battle of Puebla in 1862, where they, they defeated the French. It was like 2,000 Mexicans against tens of thousands of French, and they won. That's, that's Cinco de Mayo. That's what it's about. So when you're downing tequila, now you know what that's about. So I love you, love you, love you. And to all Mexicans out there, I love you, love you, love you, my Mexican friends. Love you, love you, love you, love you. In Mexico, love you, love you, love you, love you. So we can spread love all over the world. It's possible. It's possible. And I loved at the end of the saying, it said it made the impossible possible. Yeah, they didn't think they were going to defeat tens of thousands of French soldiers, but they did. Made the impossible possible. Oh, it's mom watching the show to tell you you love me. Oh, my God, mom. I'm going to start crying. Oh, my God. Mom, I love you so much. So my mom is watching the show. It's not Patricia Williams. It's my mom. My beautiful, amazing mom. Mom, I love you so much, Mom. Love you, love you, love you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Love you, love you, love you. Isn't she gorgeous? She's stunning. She's amazing. And she's the best mom I could ever have. The best. Best mom. You're the best, 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 best. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh, I'm so happy you're watching the show. Oh, my God, I'm getting so emotional now. Woo! So I'm going to play you another video about Cinco de Mayo so you can see more about the history. Please play the next video. Campuses and bars across the country are packed with people enjoying guacamole, putting on big hats, downing a lot of tequila. But how did this holiday get its start? Here's a brief history of Cinco de Mayo. First, let's get a common misconception out of the way. Cinco de Mayo is not Mexico's Independence Day. That's the 16th of September, a completely different holiday. Cinco de Mayo commemorates a big battle. It was known as the Battle of Pueblo, fought on May 5th, 1862 between Mexico and France. Mexico owed France, along with Spain and England, a lot of money. The three countries sent troops to Mexico to demand payment. Spain and England reached an agreement and left, but France set out to attack Mexican forces in Pueblo. The battle lasted three hours. Mexico was victorious. The French lost nearly 500 men, while Mexico lost less than 100. Although the French would return just a year later to recapture Pueblo and the rest of Mexico, 
the battle at Pueblo created a sense of national pride, and it was declared a national holiday. Today, Cinco de Mayo is a relatively minor holiday in Mexico, mostly celebrated in Pueblo where the battle took place. Most of the country considers Mexican Independence Day, celebrated on September 16th, to be a more important day to express their patriotism. But in the U.S., Cinco de Mayo has become a massive holiday, with large celebrations taking place in Los Angeles, Chicago, Denver, Houston, New York City. George W. Bush was the first president to honor the holiday at the White House. Mi casa blanca es su casa blanca. Adios. Festivities in the U.S., like most important holidays, usually amount to consuming lots of booze and food. 30.6 million cases of beer, 87.3 million pounds of avocados were sold on Cinco de Mayo week in 2013, making 658 million in booze revenue and 349 million servings of guacamole. With 33.6 million U.S. residents claiming Mexican descent and others partying just because, it's no wonder this holiday has become one of the largest in the country. Wow. Did you see that? Like, I don't know how many millions of guacamole and millions of tequila and millions of, I mean, like 33 million Mexicans. I don't know exactly when that was made. I'm sure there were more. I love you, love you, love you, Mexico. Happy, happy, happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy win at Puebla, at the Battle of Puebla. So I love you all, my Mexican friends. Love you, love you, love you. Oh, my God, my mom's watching. I'm so, like, emotional. So I want to wish all the moms out there a happy Mother's Day. Okay, and let's start loving our moms now because we only have now, 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 now to love each other and to love our moms. So, so my, my producer back there, I call him One Love. So One Love, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the song. We're going to skip over the next thing and go to the first song. Okay, so I'm going to play a song dedicated to all my Mexican friends, Mexico, and just a celebration of Cinco de Mayo tonight. And it's done by kids who are child prodigies. Please play that song. I've paid my dues. But committing no crime And bad mistakes I've made a
Yeah, lots of applause. Oh my God. Ooh, I'm so emotional. Yeah, that was incredible. Um, so the drummer, Justin Wilson II, four years old. I mean, was he incredible? Oh my God, happy, happy, happy. I love you, Clayton. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Clayton Love is a rose. She's got the biggest heart in the world. The biggest heart in the world. Love you, Clayton. I'm so happy you're watching. I love you, love you, love you. Big hugs, Clayton. Big hugs. Oh my God. Oh my God. So my favorite rock group is Queen. My favorite performer is Freddie Mercury. So I'm going to get emotional. I saw Queen in concert in high school probably almost 10 times. Literally, Freddie Mercury was the most amazing performer I've ever seen. I know you've probably seen Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie, a lot. You know, a lot of you out there. Pure love. Freddie Mercury, pure love. Every song from his heart, pure love. So that song is for all my Mexican friends, Mexico, and everyone out there celebrating Cinco de Mayo tonight. We are the champions. We can all love each other. We can all say I love you to each other as human beings. So, I mean, there's only one race, the human race. And when I speak to people, I just look in their eyes and I see their heart and souls of love. I don't see color. I just see eyes, heart and souls of love. Look how loving these kids are. Look how loving those kids were in the video. Amazing. I mean, amazing. So. Life is short, like I was saying, okay? Here you go. December 6th, look what happened to me. I could have passed. I went flying. Gas tank exploded, lots of gas all over the place. I mean, but it could have, like, lit on fire, but it didn't. I was lucky to be alive. But I'm alive because God is love. I love you, God. I love you, love you, love you. God saved me because he's love. He gave me another chance. So, I mean, I'm even, I've never been clearer that we only have now to love each other. We only have now. So go out and love everybody. Spread love all over the world because God is love. Spread love to one person. God will take that love and spread it to all human beings. So, Freddie Mercury passed. Okay? Cried and cried and cried. I mean, oh, so emotional. So I'm going to play you another singer who passed. And this is by, yep, All We Need Is Love. Clayton, All We Need Is Love. Oh, my God, Clayton. I love you so much, Clayton. All you need is love. Love you, Clayton, love. Love you, love you. Clayton has the biggest heart. I love Clayton so much. So much, so much, so much. So the next song is by someone who passed way too early for his time. So sad, so sad, so sad. We have a group here at Florida Love called Love Songs, which has over 362,000 people. Join Love Songs. You want to see love from all over the world? It's possible. Love songs from all over the world. I don't think there's a country that's not on it. Join love songs and spread the love through music, through love songs. So this is, to me, a love song to the world. Again, written by someone and sung by someone who passed, but it's going to be sung by the child prodigies again. Please play the next song.
disappear Preserve our animals and plants and humankind as well So that our future generations can have a story to tell Protect us from evil and spread the word of good Of peace, love, justice, virtue and brotherhood Cause we only have one earth and we can't waste our motherland So let's move as one force I think it's time to take a stand MJ. MJ passed way too soon and that song is for the world. Let's all love each other. World love. So that's what Florida love is all about. That we all love each other as human beings and say I love you to each other and create a world of love. Create a world of love. So just talking about true love, my graphic designer, he's created a few things. So he created this for me. Make America loving again. Humanity first, everything else Second, it's possible. Look at the love. It's possible. So I love you, true love. Look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And we also created the Florida Loving Hug. Give someone a hug and say I love you every day to spread love all over the world. Give someone a hug and say I love you every day to spread love all over the world. It's that simple. I love you, love you, love you. I'm giving you all hugs, big hugs. So I want to play the next love song, which actually is from love songs. Oh, my God, true, true love. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh, my God, he's amazing from the bottom of my heart. Love you, true love. Oh, my God. Love him. Love him so much. So the next song is from love songs, and it's all about love. So please play the next song.
so beautiful so lost lost in her eyes so we think we meet someone with our eyes but we actually meet them with our soul now this is deep and it's true so when I look in people's eyes I get lost in their eyes and then our souls connect first our hearts connect and then our souls connect we actually meet them with our soul so just look at people's eyes and see the love everyone we're all pure love it's underneath it all matter of fact babies until they learn language are pure love so we all are pure love underneath it all as human beings I mean I love kids you know kids are the ones who grab the roses first because they know what love is all about they know exactly what love is all about so I love you love you love you love you love you and this is amazing this is amazing so I'm just gonna read a few things about love just so we can so first thing, if no one has said this to you today, you're beautiful and I love you. You're beautiful and I love you. Mm. Wow. There is no love without forgiveness and there is no forgiveness without love. So the way to say I love you is to forgive and then say I love you. So to forgive is to give up resentment. Forgiveness is not for the other person. Forgiveness is for me. I'm free. When I forgive and say I love you, I'm free, I'm happy, I'm in love, I see a loving world. We create our world with our speaking. So if you say I love you, you're creating love all around you, all around you. Out of the Bible. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, 
It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but replaces with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always perseveres. Love never fails. So go out and say I love you to everybody. I love you, love you, love you. It's pure freedom and happiness. To anyone out there who's feeling unloved today, don't worry, because I love you. I love you. You're probably thinking you don't even know me, and that's true. But if people can hate for no reason, I can love. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. I love these. You will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Life is short. You only have now. See? She's with him. Then she's not. Look at it. Look at him. That's how sad he is. Life is short. We all can pass now. I can pass now. So go out and say I love you to everyone. Keep calm. Because love is the answer. Love is always the answer. So actually, I was driving down 95, a, I don't know, a few weeks back. And this guy drove past me slowly, and he gave me the finger. So I asked him, could you roll down your window? So he rolls down his window. I said, I love you, love you, love you, brother. Love you, love you, love you. And his finger went down. Love is always the answer. Love is always the answer. Karma. Love karma. What goes around comes around. Keep your circle positive. Speak good words. Think good thoughts. Do good deeds. Love karma. The more love you put out, the more you say I love you, the more that will come back. The more love you'll have in your life. You'll be free. You'll be happy. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. I love this one. Love comes natural. See, love is underneath it all. Hate is learned. Look at these kids. Again, I just look in their eyes. I don't see color here. I just look in their eyes. Love comes naturally. We're all love underneath it all. And that last but not least, choose love. Choose love. And you will be happy and free and just in love with life. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. So I'm going to play the next song from Love Songs, another love song. Please play the next song.
Song. So that's Gigi from the Philippines on Love Songs. So One Simple I Love You. Oh my God, it's one of your favorite songs. Thank you for playing that song. Love you, Clayton Love. Love you so much. I'm so happy. Oh, I love you, love you, love you, love you. I'm so happy you're watching, Clayton. I'm so happy. I love you. Yes, love, 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 love. So we're spreading love all over the world. Clayton Love, spreading love. One simple I love you can change everything for the better. It's that simple. And here's an example. Come out of Publix, look at those smiles. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh my God. Woo! And I'll be there. Love you, love you, love you. So I want to thank all you lovers for watching the Florida Love Show today. I want to wish you the happiest, happiest, most loving, loving, loving Cinco de Mayo ever. I also want to wish, wish all the moms out there, Dawn included, okay, happy Mother's Day. Go out and love your moms. And also Dawn's daughter, Chelsea, is having her birthday today. Happy, happy birthday, Chelsea. Have the most loving birthday ever. May all your dreams and wishes come true. So go out and love each other. Spread love all over the world. Transform the world with love. God knows we need it. So as I always end every Florida Love Show, who can you give a rose to? I love you. You've been listening to the Florida Love Show, where we've been spreading love in the Florida community. For more information, please contact me, Penny Love, at 917-699-1995, or Penn at florida-love.com, or on our website, florida-love.com. See you next week, 3 p.m. Friday, for the Friday Love Hour. Keep spreading love in your life, and have a loving week. Love you all.